Next up, let's talk about the best way to get sustainable, budget-friendly looks. Thrifting. I'm not great at it. If you're new to the thrifting game, our style expert, Miles Sexton, has tips to make your next thrift shop trip a success. Take a look. As a fashionista myself, I love thrifting. It's a great way to really change up my wardrobe and try new things. But I totally get it that thrifting can be a little bit intimidating. So I want you all to think of thrifting as really like an adult treasure hunt. Because when you find that perfect piece, you're going to be so overcome with so much joy and excitement, let me tell you. But in order to help you break a little bit of that fear of thrifting, I'm going to give you three amazing tips on how to best thrift. Walking into a place like this can definitely feel overwhelming with all of the clothes and accessories and all of the racks. So my first tip is all around making a plan. Coming into a thrift store, I really want you to imagine it like going to a grocery store. We're going to set an intention and create a list of what are those garments that we might need within our wardrobe. So for myself today, maybe I'm looking for a new blazer. So a really good uh, tip is to also wear an outfit that you could easily try on those types of garments that you might be looking for. So for myself, I wore a nice little dress shirt underneath so I could easily try those blazers on on top. So if you come over here, I found this really cool blazer. So I'm going to try this on and this will just help me to imagine how I can layer it with other pieces that I might have in my closet. So maybe I want to dress it up a little bit one night with a black dress shirt underneath or keep it a little bit more street casual with this mixing of pattern. For tip number two, I want you all to step outside of your comfort zone and play into your adventurous side. So really don't limit yourself to the gender categories of the store, because oftentimes a lot of treasures that we could find might be in the men's or women's sections, which might not be what we would normally wear. Trust me, I found so many really cool gems within different sections of the store. And I want you all to remember is to shop outside of your size category as well. Oftentimes products might get put back in the wrong size section, or if you do find something that is a little bit larger than your body, because of that reduced price point, you could totally get it tailored to fit your body perfectly. Now, you remember that beautiful blazer I had on earlier? Can you believe that I actually found it in the women's section in large? And it fit me perfectly. For my final tip, it's all around knowing what to look out for. So when you are getting really excited about finding your perfect piece, I want you to make sure that you're giving it a really good look over because you don't want to get it home and then realize that there's makeup stains all over that beautiful top or the armpits have some discoloration from wear and tear. As well as when we're looking at denim, I love to actually make sure that number one, that that zipper works, you don't want to have your fly open. And I love to curl up the bottom of the pant leg to make sure that that stitching is all really well intact and double checking the crotch as this is probably the most movement area that you're going to get in this type of garment. Now when it comes to knits, they are one of the most delicate ones out there. So you want to first look and make sure and see if there's any sort of pilling happening, as well as we want to look out for any sort of threads that are pulled out. If any thread is kind of sticking out of that beautiful weave, that means that unfortunately a hole is eventually going to appear on the garment and you're not going to be able to wear it. So I would look out to avoid that. Now, shoes are another one that go through a lot of wear and tear. You know, we're strutting it out on the streets. So you want to make sure that that glue is really intact from the bottom to the top, so there's no separation happening anywhere on the shoe. Around the toe area, you can actually see that the leather, unfortunately, is lifting on that toe. So you don't want to find that out at home. So I really suggest making sure that you give all of the garments a good look over to make sure that there's no damage done to it and you're getting that perfect piece. I hope you all enjoyed my thrifting tips. Be sure to check out all the treasures I found over in the studio. Okay, those were great tips. And the lesson continues because Miles is here. Thrifted treasures into luxe looks. And Miles, is there anything we just need to keep in mind when we're adding some thrifted pieces into our wardrobe? That was a very good, very good tip, oh, though. I'm so glad you liked it. I think mm -hmm. it really, I think what I talked about a little bit in the video is really just wear an outfit when you're thrifting based off of what you're looking for. Because I think mm -hmm. it's just going to make your life so much easier when you're trying on pieces in store. Because oftentimes I've purchased so many cool thrift items, but then I actually have nothing for it to go with. And it just sits in my closet and I never end up wearing it. So you don't want to waste your money in that regard. So have some <laughs> purpose. Exactly. Right? Have some purpose and know sort of what you're looking for to fit in. I love that. So um, you've styled some of our models yes. and <laughs> let's get Anna out here now so we can just see the very first look. Okay. <laughs> very quick change for our models. Like they are fast. 
<laughs> I am uh, so impressed with this. Okay, so um, Miles, would you like me to? Yeah. Can you guess, guess which which pieces are thrifted, which are brand new? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'll go for the knit, the sweater. So you think this is thrifted? I think that that's thrifted. Okay, so you are right. Okay. But actually, also the pants are thrifted oh. as well, which is really exciting. Can I see the waistline, or do yeah. you mind? Ooh. Oh my so gosh. So nice little higher okay. waist, right? right? A little some vintage Levi's, yeah, which beautiful. was amazing for under thirty dollars. Like good. such a steal. Um, we also like so the big thing with the look now. I wanted to kind of get. Anna out of her comfort zone a little okay. bit. We, we've been discussing a bit like, okay, what is my style and how do we do something? And Anna's like super earthy and I'm like, okay, I want to like play out those bohemian sort of vibes. Mm -hmm. So we went with this really great knit, but I wanted to play out that sort of like wide leg trouser that I think is really coming back in, which I'm so thrilled about. Yes. I love a wide leg. But Anna's like a little bit petite, so I think a lot mm. of the time petite women think like, oh no, I can't wear like a long trouser like this. Yes, you can. So I've actually, from Aldo, got these really great little platform sandals. Awesome. So this is just gonna help to give a little bit of elevation and really help you pull off that kind of like long trouser look yeah. so that you're not tripping over it as you're wearing it. And then just to help elevate the look to give that little luxe element, I added in some Jenny Bird jewelry, nice. as well as a little Lambert uh, uh, purse as well. So mixing that in with what you already have, I find jewelry and bags are really great at elevating it. Perfect, and you look lovely, Anna. Thank you for that. <laughs> Let's bring out our next model and see what piece was thrifted on Jane. Yeah, which one is it? Okay, I don't know. I have to take a good look at this. Great. Jane, 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 what is thrifted on Jane, I can't say this coat. It just looks too new and right. Maybe the denim. So the denim was thrifted, okay. but the coat was thrifted as well. But it had what? the tag still on it, which this was amazing. This like gorgeous suede jacket, oh, and can wow. you believe thirty-two dollars for the jacket? This is like, beautiful. Oh, what a steal! Jane, can right? we just turn around? Look at how fresh that looks. Right. That is beautiful. Same with the denim. Again, Levi's is another That's another thrifted brand. It was like twenty-seven dollars, I think, for the jeans. Like, amazing. so these are things. Like, look out for those brands that you know that the quality is there when you're thrifting because they're yeah. going to withstand the test of time. Same totally. with the scarf. I added that as an extra accessory. It's also thrifted as well. And then again, elevating that look with the bag and the accessories from Lambert. And then we did a really cute slide from Aldo as well, just to kind of like keep that casual look. You know, I wanted to go for a look with Jane of just really like, oh, I'm just casual. I'm walking around the city. Yes. You know, I'm not necessarily like, I'm still comfy, but I look stylish. I'm very stylish yes. and sophisticated yeah. and pulled together, but whatever. It took me two minutes. Exactly. Whatever. <laughs> Jane, thank you so much. Looks fabulous. <laughs> Let's bring Gladys out. Oh, oh very nice. Oh, thank you. Love it. We've got a lot going on yes. here. You've got a biker short going on. You've got the gorgeous shirt over top. I, I, you know, I would actually thrift for jackets. I feel like this yes. one looks too new, but I'm gonna say maybe this was thrifted. Yes, you're definitely right. So was it? I, it was thrifted as well. The you shirt was thrifted. Items, the Miles. shoes were thrifted. Oh, nice. So the only thing that wasn't thrifted is the beautiful Lambert backpack that we have back here, Even and then the her biker shorts. Thrifted? The shirt was thrifted as well. Oh, so I really, I feel like this was giving me like a little Emily in Paris sort of vibe. Yes. You know, like I stayed over at my partner's house, and now I have to like throw on. Their dress shirt, and I'm yes. gonna go out and run my errands for the day. Best walk of Shane I've, I've ever seen. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Beautiful. But I think dress shirts and and jackets, especially when you're looking for thrifted items, those are ones that can really kind of withstand like wear and tear. So yeah. I really love looking in those categories when I'm thrifting. And then again, we're elevating some look with some beautiful silver jewelry from Jenny Bird too. That is so. stunning. Miles. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Gladys. Beautiful. <laughs> Shall we? Oh. This up? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wearing very much, but... Uh. It's, well, so I imagine the dress was thrifted? It was. I couldn't believe it. That's I think beautiful. I paid $16 for this. I found uh, I found this wow. at, like, at a thrift shop. It was so beautiful, and I was like, okay, like, but how do I make this a little bit more fun, just for, yeah. like, a little cocktail hour or something that's maybe during the day? So I went in with a little Rufy Davis kind of heeled boot just to have a little bit more playfulness with right. the shoe instead of going maybe a stiletto and added some little Jenny Bird jewelry to the look just to kind of help to elevate it. But, yeah, yeah I couldn't believe it. That is gorgeous and a really beautiful thing to always do if you've got like this uber sort of fun and flirty silhouette. It's yes. nice to ground it with a boot. Exactly. I find that that's a good, that's a great little juxtaposition. Miles, thank you so oh, much for that. So. That was amazing. Did we love that? <laughs> that was